So today, today was actually one of the worst work days I've had in a long time. And yeah, it was a really stressful day. Definitely a lot of moments of anger. And I didn't leave until like 8.30. So I went from leaving home from lunch at 1.30 and not getting back until then. Basically, I, ne I ended up having Riley in the crate for seven hours. And if I normally am prepared for that, that's fine. She can do, she can hold eight hours, but I just felt so bad that it was spawn. I just felt so bad that out of the blue, I had to stay later because we have a demo tomorrow. And a lot of the complications are because my coworker is just impossible to work with. So at that point, I kind of just stopped caring and trying my best to stay positive. Um, the good thing is now that I'm home and I've had time to eat something, drink something, and let Riley out and kind of just play with her a little bit, I already can tell that I'm in a much better mood. I also am so happy that the Australian Open is on right now. I believe Rafael Nadal is going to be playing soon. He is scheduled to play on the court after Wozniacki's match and her match literally just finished like five minutes ago. I really, really can't wait to see Nadal play. I haven't watched him play in years and I'm so happy he's back at the top again. He really deserves it and he is my favorite male tennis player. Um, I unfortunately didn't watch much tennis while Federer was dominant, so I mean Better is definitely still dominant. It is just a couple years after he was really, really at his prime. So, oh, hi there, Sammy. You wanted to get in the frame, huh? Today might be the day that I break my streak of one movie a day, but you know what? I shouldn't be so strict on it because it's not something I have to do every single day, you know? And I think if I kept it up also, I probably might have burnt myself out. So today will be a chill day of watching some brilliant Australian open tennis and maybe some reading in between. And just, I really, really need to relax myself. Honestly, I am 100% certain that I grew a pimple today because it wasn't there in the morning. And then in the middle of the day, it just decided to make itself known. So. That's how bad today was. Things will get better. I just have to... Oh yes! There he is! Yay! He's about to start! But um, yeah, I just really need to focus on the future. The near future that I perceive to be really great. And soon I will have my motorcycle and I'll be able to ride out into the countryside area and I will be truly, truly happy. Much happier than I am right now. Good morning, it is Wednesday, and I needed to wake up at 6 a.m. today because I have an early morning meeting that I need to do for work. And after that, I will be taking the afternoon off because I have an interview. So, uh, I'm honestly really surprised that I woke up today so flawless because I've been waking up at 9 a.m. for work for a while now. So even waking up at 8 started feeling tough for me. So maybe, maybe it's just that thing in my mind that was like, I have to wake up at this time today because I have stuff to do. Like I have obligations. So, um... I have like maybe 10 minutes before I need to leave. So figured I would make myself some oatmeal. Last night I actually spent my entire evening watching tennis, which wasn't very long. I mean, I was only home for three to four hours before I went to sleep. Um, I managed to watch Nadal's entire match. So, 
he won in straight sets, very quick and simple. Um, it was really cool to see him play again. And I actually am very much looking forward to watching more the rest of this week. Um, and then there's finals on the 28th, which I'm actually wondering what time the finals will be at. Maybe it'll be like midnight because it's in Australia. Holy shit, <clears throat> there's so much traffic already. I actually need to leave like right now. Fuck. Okay, I am just about to head out to my interview. It is 1225. I need to be there by one o'clock. But since I have to figure out buildings and making sure I'm checking in at the right lobby and stuff like that, I want to get there early. So the drive is approximately 15 minutes. Yeah, actually, if I left now, I'll be like 20 minutes early, but I don't mind being early. Honestly, if I cut it close, I would be way more nervous about that. So I really hope that I do well. Uh, I'm pretty calm generally right now. I got back about an hour ago, well, more like 45 minutes, and I walked Riley. It is a bit too hot for a longer walk, so that does that did kind of suck because I enjoy long walks with her and cutting it short because of the heat is a little unfortunate, but I do, I feel pretty prepared. Um, I did prepare some scenarios in how I will answer my questions. This is in the star format, so it's going to be behavioral and kind of situation questions where they ask you stuff and they want you to answer in the format of situation, task, action, result, and seven to eight questions like that. I think he said, I'm not actually sure how many people will be there to interview me, but I think number of people won't matter as much. I just need to sound confident and give off a good vibe or something like that. And maybe this time I will be a little bit less brutally honest because I think sometimes when I'm too honest, it might not come across well for employers. So, uh, <laughs> once I get this over with though, I do have the rest of the day to myself. So I just hope I do well. I totally forgot to record my experience or just how I feel after the interview because I kind of realized that we were nearby bubble tea so I stopped by and got some I promise I am really trying my best now to kind of be more strict about what I buy and how often I eat out and stuff because that motorcycle man if I can justify that purchase it must mean that I need to be better about my monthly spending but aside from that um, it's really really hard I think to tell if you did well because usually I go off of how I felt vibe wise and when I say that I mean if I feel like I had a pretty good conversation with them and if I felt like it was easy to talk to them then I feel pretty good about it um, they basically just asked me seven behavioral questions or scenario ones like describe a time where there was a big change that happened and how did you adapt to it questions like that or like working with people and I think I was pretty concise with everything there was maybe just one situation where I might have mentioned a conflict at my existing workplace that really hasn't been making me happy. I just hope that when I brought it up I didn't sound selfish or like I was in the wrong. It was pretty much just two people. Um, it was a manager and one of his co-workers there just taking turns asking me questions and I think that part went pretty fine because I um, I felt more at ease because the people there were smiling and they were laughing and when they do that I do the same so hopefully they felt like I was very comfortable and easygoing to get along with. Overall it was a good visit. I guess I just have to now wait until next week and hope that they like me enough to make me an offer. But. I am also so happy that I'm out right now during the day. It's 3 p.m., still sunny and beautiful. So my next goal is to get home and take Riley for a very nice long walk because 
I have all the time in the world now, and I really hope that we can just enjoy it together. Hello! In the cat room. Sammy, what? Sammy's fucking afraid of the camera, look. <laughs> oh, there you go. Samuel. I like seeing Sammy on the tree. Milo. Milo. But yes, I am. Ooh, there we go. I am in the cat room just to kind of show what I wore to my interview. So I was told to dress business casual or above, which consists of more formal, but I mean, I'm kind of covering the front. So this is just like, I don't even know what the heck you call this, but I just have a pink tank underneath. This is a pencil skirt. I got Milo. Man, Milo is such a beautiful companion, isn't he? Aren't you? Wow, hello. Milo still has a hair tumor on the right side. I will have to clear that up for him. Milo. Wow. Oh, but now it's time to change into a homeless person. Trying a different angle this time. I got to switch it up once in a while, right? So I am changed. This isn't necessarily hobo clothing, I guess, because I'm gonna walk her first and then when I'm home and ready to settle down, that's when I wear hobo clothing because there's gonna be hair everywhere. I can't get hair on a shirt like this. So um, I think there's only maybe an hour and a half or so more of daylight. So I want to try to walk her for pretty long. Super exciting actually and it's perfect timing because Maria Sharapova is actually playing for the Australian Open in roughly 30 minutes. So last night I had a really good time watching Nadal play and now it would be really cool to see Sharapova play. I haven't seen Sharapova play in a long, long time. So hopefully she doesn't get knocked out today. That would kind of suck. But yes, walk time. Gotta put this on her. Come here, puppers. Good. All right, gonna head out. I'll be back. You know, since I've been home since 3 o'clock, I feel like I have so much time today and it's kind of nice because I feel like I've gotten a lot done and it's only 8 o'clock right now. I already got my movie. I watched Swimming Pool. I really hope I'm pronouncing this director's name correctly. Francois Ozone. But he is the director of France. So I am checking out his other work. Currently, I have watched three of his movies. And Swimming Pool was interesting. It's an erotic thriller. And... Uh, I feel like that genre is still new to me, or maybe it's not one that I'm accustomed to yet. So I guess sometimes the erotic part <laughs> can be a little awkward for me to watch. And maybe I have difficulty kind of understanding the draw that occurs between the characters. I feel like usually when there's an erotic thriller type of movie, one of the characters 
usually like sees somebody else, maybe someone they're close with or someone they are residing with or something like that, engaging in sexual activity. And then you kind of notice like a change in their behavior. They become intrigued about that person, their life or their lifestyle. And then there usually is some form of twist involved. So I guess this movie, this movie didn't hold my interest the whole time, but there were definitely moments where I was intrigued, but I don't think <laughs> that lasted very long. Um, I, de I definitely got distracted and I was like on my phone a few times. So I wouldn't say this is a movie that I really liked. I would pretty, I would say that it's maybe average for me. Um, I'm not sure I would recommend it, but maybe that's my role. It's to try out movies for other people and let you know if it's worth watching. That is, if you trust my judgment. So I got that done. And now I guess if I have enough footage for vlogging, I can edit. Otherwise, I might do a little bit of review. I have a technical interview on Friday and I probably should review a few things, practice a little bit for JavaScript. And aside from that, read. I definitely have time to watch another movie and I will exercise before I sleep for sure. So I still have plenty of time.